you have any role models? Yeah, man, the Terminator, man. If you look at the back of my head, you know, I don't know if you can see that. You have the Terminator tattooed on the back of your head. Yeah, man, the yes. Terminator. Yes. We're in South LA in Mal's, pretty much right here in the beautiful mecca of the center of LA County. You got USC right over on this side. You got the jail right over there. You got the courthouse right behind me. You got a bar right in the middle, just in case you come out of jail and you just need to grab yourself a nice little drink. It's a shithole. It's a great fucking place to be. It's a everything. I hear that you guys make a uh, stiff C minus. Do you know what a C minus is? <laughs> no, but if you tell me, I have a heavy hand. I pour very well. So you let well, me know, and I'll C make it for you. C minus is Coors Light. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a drink. <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> what do you make that you like to that you really enjoy? Do you like tequila? You a tequila drinker? I do like tequila. Okay, I'm gonna make I you a paloma. Have you ever had that? No. What was that? Paloma. Why does it look so good when it comes off your mouth? Yeah, it's you the just, way that I see it. Yeah, it's the. I, like I wrote that. those R's. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> I can't make it for you. You're gonna like this. It is tequila, and I use silver tequila. So I do I like to do the fresh lime first. Uh -huh. And then I use patron, but you could use whatever you want. And then I just use squirt. And then the last thing is just a little bit of salt. Even though there's tons on the rim, just a little bit. So here it is. I made it with love. Hope you enjoy it. Let me know. I mean, just the fact that there's love and passion in that one ooh, <laughs> makes me so much happier. Oh, you see, you're already rolling those R's. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, so like good. It? it ran down my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? This bar's been around for at least 50 to 55 years. And we've seen a lot of changes. 20 years ago, the neighborhood was different. You had a lot of gangs in the area. And so we had issues with that. We've seen that change and it's been very positive. And so now when we get anybody that is from a formal gang, they're reformed and it's more about just coming in, hanging out and having a good time. It's actually pretty cool. You know, you always make a friend at the bar. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> isn't that what a bar is for? You know Absolutely. I mean? So you guys make food here during the week though. Uh, Monday nights, we do hot dogs. It's hot dogs, it's chips, it's um, nachos, it's chili. The whole nine? Everything. Oh, I love steamed hot dogs. Damn, that Wiener Snitchel fucking special right here. Scoot the fuck over and some of these. All right. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Good, Mind if I sit down? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you for letting me uh, sit down, you know what I mean? I know how that's uh, always awkward meeting somebody new. You come here a lot? Yeah, sometimes, you know, we come here and get some free grub, you know? But before we come here, we gotta smoke, you know, and then we come here. <laughs> I gotta ask, you know what I mean? Like, what's this all about? Oh, my, my scar tattoo? Exactly. Well, you see Scarface, uh, Tony Montana, you know? I'll do anything to get to the top, even if, even if it kills me. Well, I see a tattoo on your face. I see you have a Batman. You know, what does that mean as far as uh, yourself? I don't mean Batman. When we were little kids, you know, growing up and born and raised in Las Vegas, we'd stay up all night, and the only creatures we'd ever see were just bats flying around. It was home. We just always were a little bat life. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I got, I got this tattoo on my stomach. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... It says high life, like thug life. You did that? I did that myself when I had my leg broken. <laughs> All my tattoos on my arms, everything I could do with myself, I did it myself. How long you been tattooing? I've been tattooing for eight years, you know, ever since I got out of prison. It says hustler. And on this side it says bona fide hustler, so it's like, it goes together, bona fide yeah. hustler. You know, every time I make money, everybody makes money, you know? Do it for the family. Yeah, do it for everybody, you know? All right. You got any kids? Yeah, I have two. How old are they? Well, my daughter is four, she's about to be five, and my son, he's 14. You know, and I'm 31 myself, so it's like, basically, basically he's half my age. You no, know, I'm the perfect role model for my son. He sees me, he sees the mistakes I've done, and it's like, he's like the exact, exact opposite of me. 
you know what kind of hell we're in right now with cops. I mean, don't even get me started with cops. You know, everything that's been going on with the cops, you know, it's all real, you know? When I was 14, I didn't know what I was doing. They called me spray painting. They called me, okay, give me a ticket. But no, they took it as far as dropping me off in front of an enemy's neighborhood when they're kicking it. So they, you never went to jail for that? They actually left me to die just to learn a lesson. They wanted me killed. I need a beer on that one. <laughs> Would you like? Oh, you're so good, I think. Yeah, I'm still good with that Windex. Thank you. Earlier you were talking about you've been to jail this amount of times and whatever, and your kid has seen it and this and that. What have you been to jail for? Ever since I was um, 18, I've been to jail, I can tell you, more than 100 times. I thought there was a three-strike rule in California. Well, as far as misdemeanors go along, I mean, if it's a felony, yeah, it's a three-strike uh, rule. But, sorry about that. No worries. But as far as uh, misdemeanors, we have a great system right now, you know? It's so, <laughs> it's so overcrowded, you know, we get to do what we got to do and get out in a week's time, you know? So that's, that's why, you know, I've been in jail so many times. You know, but I'm not letting my son go through the same mistakes, you know? He knows what's wrong, you know? I don't know what it's like for most people, but for me, I'm very social, you know what I mean? And it's cool to walk up to cats like Mario that I've never met before in my life and just kind of like start off and spark a conversation. He seemed like a normal bar fly to me, you know? There's some guy who just sits at the bar, he was there sitting by himself, he was doing his own thing, and he had such positive and negative fucking outlooks in life. And that's what made him special to me, you know what I mean? Huh? How's it going? Braden. Nice to meet you. How's it going, my friend? Braden. Nice to meet you. How's it going, ladies? All right, all right. So, you guys come here quite often? Only on the day that ends with the wife. This is in between work and the family. I see them this more than I do see my family. So I see them more It's than work, family, family. Yeah. And we celebrate Christmas together and Thanksgiving together and birthdays here. Who's the number one dedicated? Uh, Jesse. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody comes in, you say hi, you say hello. We know everybody. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I told lady yeah. today, I said, I'm going over to Mel's bar. I said, you know, because everybody knows me here. I said, you know, everybody wants to go or somebody knows me. Yeah. I feel safe here. It's just yeah. a comfortable environment where you can feel free to come in. This is a great place. I see myself back at Mel's in the future for sure. So on the Ruru, don't be scurry about South LA. This is one of them gorgeous places. People talk shit, but fuck those people. Go get a fucking chili cheese dog from Mouse. This place rules. All right, so ladies and gents, I mean, you guys have been nothing but great company to me. Is there any way that maybe I can buy all of you guys a bar or a drink? Especially my five favorites right here. One day, little Mary was coming home from, from school, and she came home, she said, Mom, I got $5. And she said, where'd you get the $5? She said, well, little Tommy was up the tree, and he asked me to do a cartwheel. And the mother said, Mary, don't you know that he, he just want to see your panties? And little Mary got mad, she goes, ooh. So the next day, she come home, she come home with $10. <laughs> she goes, Mary, where did you get $10? Well, I told you, little Tommy was up there. He says, Mary, didn't I tell you you want to see your pants? She says, no, Mom, I fooled him. I wasn't wearing it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>